before creating anything that he was going to create Adam, he was going to put him in the garden and him and his wife and they were going to eat from that tree even though they were told not to do so. Allah knew. So Allah said, yes, I knew you were going to do it. So Adam said, then can you not forgive me for that and put me back in that garden one day? back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe like i said you're welcome if you're new and um if you're not aware we created a second channel where you can find like our daily day-to-day -day activities although we haven't started posting yet because we want to reach 100 subscribers before we can post anything so if you're watching this please make sure even before you fit before we get into this video just pause this video go to the other channel and subscribe or well, at the end of this video of course you can subscribe to our other channel so that you can see the vlogs that we been accumulating because we are ready to post any day from now any time from now in fact so yeah this week has been quite exhausting there was a lot of running around to do you go from this place to the next place just trying to figure out things like i said last week i was graduating um yeah so i had to get myself together and everything else thank god that's done with i was excited last week and i'm excited now because i have all the time in the world to do youtube videos so yeah, um, other than just our new channel, you can subscribe to my boyfriend's channel and which other channel do we have? Just subscribe to every, everything else that we're doing. Other than YouTube, we also do podcasts. We post on podcasts, we've got quite interesting topics. I write as well, you can check out my blog, I'm sure the link is down in the description below. And my boyfriend also takes amazing, amazing pictures. I'm sure you'd love them. Make sure to check out our social media. That's why you will see most of the things that we don't bring to YouTube. So yeah, so today I'm going to be reacting to Adam asks Allah a very wise question. Of course, this has been requested by a lot of people and I said, why not? I'm still feeling excited. I'm still hyped from last week and I brought the hype to this video. Why not listen to what this video has to say and see what what's there? So yeah. Without wasting any time, let's get into the video. I love you, There was a very beautiful conversation that reminds me of this verse, and I'll be brief. That took place between Adam السلام, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Ibn Kathir records this in his tafsir of these verses. He says that when Adam was being taken away from this garden, he asked Allah a few questions. Number one, he said, My Lord, did you not create me with your own two hands? And Allah said, Yes. He said, Did you not breathe into me the breath of life and cause me to live? And Allah says, Yes. Did you not, when I sneeze, say, Allah, did, did, May Allah have mercy on you? Yes, I did say that. Then, ask, then Adam asked a very wise question to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that explains us. He said, when you created me and you placed me in that garden and you told me not to eat from that tree, didn't you already know I was going to eat from it? You see the wisdom of Adam and he said, didn't you know I was going to eat from that tree? You see, Adam understood that Allah knew before creating anything that he was going to create Adam, he was going to put him in the garden and him and his wife and they were going to eat from that tree even though they were told not to do so. Allah knew. So Allah said, yes, I knew you were going to do it. So Adam السلام, said, then can you not forgive me for that and put me back in that garden one day? And Allah said, yes. And he taught them the very famous words, my Lord, I have wronged my own soul. And if you do not forgive me and have mercy on me, surely I will be one of the losers. So you see, life is not about whether you will sin or not, because you're going to sin. If you keep living, you're probably going to keep sinning at some point in your life. It's not about whether you will sin or not. Every son of Adam sins. What is important is what do you do about the sin? He said, but the best of those who sin are those who repent. 
You see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He told the angels, I know something you don't know. I'm proving a point here. That yes, I'm going to create this Khalifa. Yes, his progeny, many of them are going to turn away from me. Yes, they're all going to commit sin. They're all going to do wrong. But there will be some of them who will turn back to me and ask me to forgive them. And I will forgive them. You see, true power. This is why understanding the attributes of Allah is, is difficult for the human mind. Because true power is not punishing when you have the capability to do so. True power is when you have the right to punish. Allah has the right to punish all of us for our sins. Allah is capable of punishing us. Yet He chooses to forgive those who seek His forgiveness. That's true power. When you have all the capabilities, all of the power to punish, and yet you lean towards forgiveness and you're lenient and merciful. This is the Rabb that we serve. This is the Rabb that the Muslims worship is a Rabb who is forgiving, who is merciful, that knows that I'm going to sin, that knew that I was going to sin before He created me. So therefore, when I do so, I am going to turn to Him and beg Him to forgive me and you will find Him to be most merciful. This is a beauty, beautiful part of Islam that I get from these verses. And Allah knows best. That was quite a short video. It's like every time I get into the video, every time I get into a video, it just finds a way to end. That was quite amazing. Amazing message as usual. Simple to understand, simple to relate with, simple to just, just simple, plain and simple. I like the fact, I always say that a wise person in life is one who asks questions. So if someone should sit down and ask questions, it's not like they're dumb, it's not like they don't understand. Of course they don't understand, they want more knowledge. But the fact that you're asking a question means that you're able to notice something in a statement. So you want to be more knowledgeable, to be made more knowledgeable over that topic or whatever is being spoken about. This is insane. And it's good that it talks about seeing that people out there that think they're more righteous than the other person. So yes, this person is Christian. Doesn't make them... Um, so yes, this person may be, let me say, believes in something that you don't believe in. And you believe in this. It doesn't mean that they are wrong. Ask yourself questions. Why does this person believe in this thing? Why does this person believe, let's say, after death? Why does this person believe in um, killing? Why does this person believe in peace? Always find yourself asking. When you find yourself asking, you gain more and more as the day goes by. From my point of view, the main point of this was talking about sin. Adam asked God, saying, you knew I was going to do this. So why not forgive me and allow me into heaven one day? It's quite interesting. I'm shocked. If anyone understands, for those people that are very uh, familiar with the Quran, please tell me why Allah allowed Adam to still go through with eating the apple. Why let him sin? What was the whole purpose of this act? I just want to understand and there are many times that we find ourselves even just growing up do you know that sometimes when we're going through a certain stage our parents allow us to do certain things so that we can learn from those mistakes at the end of the day you sin you learn a lesson and maybe sometime in the future you won't take that route anymore and you will change course take a new direction so that you don't affect yourself or affect others. Like I said, this is a very interesting video. 
an interesting message. I'm not sure if you know of um, a longer version of this. I would like someone to just comment with the link down below in the comment section and I'll gladly check it out. The story of Adam is quite amazing. Also, I noticed that it's quite similar to the Bible. Very, very similar, although I'm not sure if um, Adam questioned God in the Bible, but it's very, very similar. I'd like to read both books and see how this story evolves. But if there's anyone out there that has more knowledge than me, be it Christian, be it Muslim, please let me know, correct me, add more information, shed more light. That's what we're here to do. Like I said, I was very excited. I did. I always never know what these videos are about. Always um, interesting to watch it for the first time and give my insights for the first time as well. So yeah, if you're new to this channel, like I oh, let me know how you feel about my reaction and how you feel about this video. If there's anything that I missed out, please point it out to me. It was quite interesting for me. Let me know how you feel about it. Was it interesting? Was it not? Is it... Do you think it's true? Do you think it's a lie? Just anything. Let's have a conversation down in the sec comment section. So yeah, if you're new to this channel, like I said, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, give us any suggestions you feel like we should react to. Other than just those things make sure to subscribe to my boyfriend's channel or subscribe to our new channel the main thing you guys should do is subscribe to our new channel if you can get us to 100 subscribers we would really 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 be happy so that because we would be happy because we want to post we, st we want to start posting our new vlogs so yeah shout out to the person that requested this video and see you in our next reaction